<laughs> and we're live. I don't are we see live? us. Are we live? I, I just see, see pink us on screen. the screen. But it's okay. Hi, everybody. That was my face. Mastermind in chat. Hello. Uh, Mike Gonzalez joined us today. I appreciate that a ton. Mike Gonzalez, I think, or Mastermind, one of the two of you are either, are probably on my Discord channel. Go hit up my friends in the Discord channel and tell them to come watch the show. Yeah, Nate B. First time catching it live. Hello, What's friend. What's up, Nate B? I actually recognize that handle. Where have I seen you before, Nate B? Let me know. All right, are we doing a show today? Yeah. I think we are. Yeah. It is Friday. Woo! Oh, it's really loud. It's super loud. Get ready for some loudness today. I'm panicking. Well, you're going to be okay. Too, okay, I'm good. All right, PTSD, we're good. PTSD, I know. I need a... It's not World War II. I, I, okay, cool. I need, I need an adult. <laughs> I'm here. I'm your adult friend. Yes. Um, welcome to Last Weekend Gaming, everybody. How are y'all doing? I mean, y'all in the terms of, like, you guys in the internets and stuff. Um, you know, I almost started this uh, monologue with saying Heidi Ho, but I was like, nope, we're going to skip that. Um, this week has been a chock full of news kind of week, though, I do have to say. Um, I mean, in terms of, like, gaming, there's a ton of stuff to cover, especially given that PAX East is happening. Uh, but yeah, gaming rules the world, and that's just the way it is. So that's why we've got some gaming news for you. Um, are we ready for some gaming news? Did I hear yes? Yeah. Yeah. Did I hear hello? Yay. Good. Um, are we ready to hang out with my awesome guest, Michelle Mora? Yeah. yeah! That's what I thought. That's right. She's joining us tonight to talk about all things World of Warcraft, and about her awesome career, and about how much I love her. It's true, I do. Uh, we're going to find out all about that and more tonight, so lock your butts down on your seats. It's time now for our main stories. Dun, 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 dun. Yay! All right, Baby Yoda sent me, says Johnny Digital. Yes. He did. <laughs> Baby Yoda will be. In oh the story man, that was today. your perfect. Uh, that was your perfect opportunity for a cool. Oh uh, darn it. Yeah, it's okay. We'll, we'll get the next one. You'll get one. one in tonight. We'll get the next okay, one. This sorry. is why you're here, Kyle. No, make sure I get I'm just here to show. operate the prompter and <laughs> make you look better by being horrible. You're doing great. All right, let's go. <laughs> doing great at being horrible. Perfect. My favorite thing about a new console generation is everyone acting like they know what a teraflop is I don't. and exactly how processes work. Like, yes, I know there are tech heads out there who do know their stuff, but I think the vast majority of gamers just care about what they're playing. Still, Microsoft is throwing out some big numbers for Xbox Series X, saying the monolithic system will sport 12 teraflops. Oh, hell yeah. Ooh. 12. Oh, man. Whoa. That's Whoa. twice. Every one of us Whoa. knows the context <laughs> of that one. Totally get what that is. Perfect. <laughs> But here's some context. I will try to explain this technology to you. Hell yeah. That's twice the power of Xbox One X. And wow. eight times that of Xbox One. So there you go. A little bit of some, uh, some tech knowledge for you. Uh, now what I find more appealing is that Microsoft is promising suspended states for multiple games as well as cool. smart delivery. The what latter basically, okay. I'm going to explain it. Sorry, I'm gonna I'll shut up. explain this for you. Ooh. The latter basically mom explains to cry. <laughs> mom explain. No, fiance explain. Oh, no, I like mom explain. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, anyways, uh, the latter basically equates to cross buy. So Microsoft says if you buy Halo Infinite, for example, on Xbox One, you'll get the upgraded Xbox Series X version whenever you get that console. Mm. Which I think is like a free thing, so that's pretty cool. This is apparently available for all developers and publisher, publishers, I should say. So let's hope they opt in as well. Though, I guess we'll all know we'll have to buy GTA 5 and Skyrim for like the millionth time. <laughs> that's going to happen. All right, that said, CD Projekt Red has already confirmed what I just mentioned, that Cyberpunk 2077 will utilize smart delivery. The official Twitter account for the game stated, gamers should... Never be forced to purchase the same uh, game twice never. or pay for upgrades. <laughs> never, ever, ever. Well, never. The same console. Um, owners of Cyberpunk 2077 for Xbox One will receive the Xbox Series X uh, upgrade for free when available. So that means you get the game for your current console, but then once you get the new console, you can request to have the Cyberpunk 2077 Xbox Series X version for free. So, CD Projekt Red is pretty awesome. We love those guys. I love those guys. We love CD Projekt Red. Us. Yeah. <laughs> no, just... <laughs> just kidding. They, we they, say that with Microsoft. It's a running joke. All the time. Joke. Microsoft, give us but, money. Yeah, Microsoft, give us money. <laughs> or, you know, CD2. We're cool with that. We just like them. We just like, like them in general. CD Projekt Red, let's hang out. Microsoft, give us money. 
Ba- yes. Did I nail that? I think you nailed okay, it. Okay, perfect. I Let's think roll. you figured out the way that it should be. Well, hey, this Microsoft, give us money. Is this the next part about Microsoft? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, it is. Well, we might as well call this the X Block News segment. Sponsor ha, us. Ha, ha, sponsor us. Uh, because Xbox One also got a new home interface. Really? This is crazy. I know. We were all shocked. I think uh, Kyle and I both had a reaction when we saw our home like console. We were every, like, what the hell happened? Like everything new, I hated it immediately. Yeah. It's you're just, like, this yeah. is going to be, this is going to screw up everything. Yeah. I was like, this sucks. Ah, uh, that's all right. But then you're like, it might actually make it better. Yeah. Oh. Um, so, uh, so yeah, everyone got a whole home console interface upgrade. Uh, the, the, what does it say? Possibly the one millionth during the system's lifespan. There's been a lot of upgrades. The focus appears to be more on her horizontal rows with Team Xbox saying the redesigned quote, keeps your favorite content front and center. And Hot gets- bullshit. <laughs> Not finish the quote. Kyle. Yeah, but it's just also, so they can serve the more ads. Us. Oh your shit! Mouth. Yeah, you're right. Oh shit! <laughs> All right. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I owe three. Oh, because you said the S word. Yeah, <laughs> why three times? I'm sorry to derail you. We have you. a swear jar. It's so they can serve more ads. I love you, Microsoft. Give us money, but it's for more ads. We know it. We know it. Um, yeah, it's true. But anyways, the the whole goal, as they say in their quote, it keeps your serve favorite content ads. front and center. Yes, and gets you into your gaming experiences faster than ever. And ads which I faster than ever. But I'd actually just want it to get me closer to more Netflix. I use okay, it for that a lot. I, it's okay. I I understand the need to serve ads. I started, I, I have a marketing degree. I get it. But don't BS me and say it's for your utility when it's to serve more ads. Yeah. <laughs> you know it. I know it. Johnny Microsoft knows it. Like, let's just move forward from that. <laughs> I love it. Actually, yeah. we have Mike Gonzalez, who's totally on your side. Yeah. So perfect. Let the hate flow through you, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, my dad watches. That's he's a good like, comment. My dad watches. He's like, you're pretty mad at some of these episodes. I was like, yeah, that's my role. Actually, uh, fun fact: my grandmother on my dad's side is watching our show. Today. Hello. Hi. Hi, Grandma Eleanor. Is it, if you're out there, is it cold where you are right now? We definitely know it is. freezing. It's definitely cold. It's, okay. It's all white snow and and brisk cold weather. It's the worst. All right, not looking forward to. Canada uh, weather where we at, at any point in the future. What, what did you just read? Games and apps menu? Um, I was at the final part of the story. So Microsoft also continues to tweak the games and apps menu. They'll continue to do this until probably Xbox Series X and then forever and ever. Um, but this time the company has added more options for how stuff is grouped together. You know, the Xbox One home screen has come a long, long way since launch. It's been a messy journey, but at least there's evolution there. Meanwhile, I look at my Switch and my home screen is just perfect, and I'm baffled, uh, you know, at how there aren't themes yet on the Switch. That's like kind of my go-to thing. It's like, why the heck don't we have a, a way to customize it? It's not the call. I know, or folders at this point. Let's make it happen. But yeah, the Switch is pretty much perfect. Besides that, all right, we're not finished with Xbox just yet. That's what I said in the, sh- the start of the show. This should be this, this should be a box sponsor segment. Us? Maybe sponsor us? I was a little harsh. Microsoft? Okay. All right, we're not finished about Xbox just yet. Like I said, uh, let's get to know your games with gold for next month. We do this every month. We like to recap you guys, keep you guys posted on free games, because who doesn't love free games? All right, on Xbox One, say hello to Batman The Enemy Within. The complete season, which is totally worth it if you haven't checked it out yet. I played it myself. It's amazing. And uh, Shantae Half Genie Hero also is on there. You're probably familiar with the first game, but maybe not the second one. Totally get it. Neither am I. Um, If that's the case, Shantae is a 2D platforming series that originally began way back in 2002 on Game Boy Color. Oh. Way, way back. Um, anyways, it's pretty cool. You should definitely check it out if you have a chance. It's free. Uh, now as for 360, if you guys still own that console, I know your your nephew still owns that. Yeah, the but he plays, he plays Probably plays Xbox chat. One now. Yeah. Well, if you still own this PS4, actually, he just pivoted. I oh, just really? Yeah, he just all his, changed. All his friends are on PS4. Well, hot dang. It's all good. Well, anyways, if you're on the 360, uh, you can look forward to Castlevania: Lords of Shadow 2 and Sonic Generations. Perfect timing for the movie. You gotta love that Sonic synergy. Yep, the movie is already speeding past a hundred million dollars domestically. Good. The most a game, a video game themed movie has made ever. Good. So good. I'm happy. Yep. It was a really good, it was movie. A good movie. We it was talked about movie. it last episode. But yeah, it's a good one. It was just I it, like as someone who played Sonic as a kid, and then when we saw it, there was a bunch of families with their kids in the theater. Yeah. And having the kids just lose their mind anytime Sonic does something cool. Just, was just laugh amazing. out loud hysterically yeah. or yeah. scream in excitement. It was great. 
All right, in fact, moving on from that story, Games with Gold isn't the only place to blue blur. The blue blur is popping up. Uh, Sonic is also showing up on the PlayStation Plus. <laughs> PlayStation just trying to copy everything Xbox does. Xbox sponsor us. Yeah. Um, yeah, so their lineup for March with Sonic Forces kicks it off as well as if you remember correctly, this is one where you can create your own hedgehog character or dog or bird or cat. Ooh. You get the idea. The other game for PS Plus, by the way, is the fantastic and stunning Shadow of the Colossus remake. Oh. Definitely check it out. Oh, I, need I to might that. actually do that. Yeah, I've never I can't played believe that. I didn't think to do that this week. For uh, the that'll be next week. Maybe, maybe next, next week. week. I've never played that, so. It's definitely worth it. Um, okay. And it's such a classic game that if you don't know it as a gamer, are you even a gamer? Wow. I don't know. <laughs> thrown under uh, the bus. Like, I'm right gaming. next to you. <laughs> That's we all know you're a gamer. <gasps> it's embarrassing. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm with you too. I don't. I haven't played any of well, very little of the Gears games. So that's my blind spot. It's just well, Gears is great, but like Gears is great. But like the gamer credit. Or the Metal Gear Solid games. Never touched those. Another one I'm not very interested in. Never played. Mm. But I am played I a gamer it. if I didn't play it? Yeah. Yes. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, just when gatekeeping. Gamers have to always play every single game. I hate I it. know. Yeah. Yeah. The They're like, what? You didn't play The Last of Us? Yeah. What? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, speaking of this remake, uh, you can't make your own beast in this one, just so you know. Um, but you do go up against some magnificent creatures. So out of all these games on Xbox and PS4, which ones are you looking forward to the most? Let us know in the comments. Someone called... Someone a nerd, mastermind. Yeah, I'm watching you. I like my favorite was Swagger Master showed up in the in the comments. He goes, "Hi, hello, Fortnite," and that's all he said. <laughs> Swagger Master, what is your the deal? Name matches Ta tell the us, comments. tell us what's going on with you. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Our <laughs> All right, the Game Developers Conference. Ooh, yes, I'm glad we're getting this story because actually mm -hmm. Mike Gonzalez just said rip GDC. That is part of the story. The Game Developers Conference, what the cool kids call GDC, um, has lost a few more major players, adding to the list that started with Sony and Facebook last week. We reported on that. Well, now Microsoft has announced it will skip the event because of the coronavirus called COVID-19. Uh, the company stated the health and safety of players, developers, employees, and our partners around the world is our top priority. Epic Games, Unity, and Kojima Productions pointed to similar concerns and are also withdrawing. Yeah. Pretty sure Gearbox that's three just other did too. Gearbox uh, just Blizzard just pulled out. All right. Wow. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. So basically, Who's going? no one's going to GDC. <laughs> it's great because it's over my birthday weekend. So finally, oh, everyone's in town. Okay, yeah. hold up. Yeah. Speed Demon goes with the name a little bit. GDC has been canceled altogether. Like now for this reals? might have just come Breaking in. news. Breaking news. GDC ding, 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 has ding, been canceled. Ding. No I don't have an intro for that part. Like if that happens in the future, we need to be ready. Right, Erwin? Yes. Yeah. All right, we're going to work said, on getting a graphic Irwin for said, that. Yes. We need a ding 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 ding. Yeah, you got to like the we got to turn to the camera and be like breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. Not canceled, postponed, says Mike Gonzalez. You guys are just bringing in the news. Why am I even doing this? You guys yeah. are doing it for you guys me. Take over? Thank you so much. Um, we'll confirm on that during the break. I'll just Official double check. Official news of GDC cancellation. Oh. Uh, okay. Canceled. Michelle has officially. All right. So there you go, guys. Uh, let's continue the story. If there's anything newsworthy, but there's always next year. Major blow to GZ. There's we'll always next year. And people come first. Uh, COVID 19 <laughs> pandemic. pandemic. Okay, cool. All right. Now we're going on to the <laughs> best part of the show. Kyle's mediocre play. Hell yeah. This one's pretty good because it's just really average. Yeah, and it's three minutes long. It's so amazing. have fun with that, guys. Heck yeah. We'll be right back. It's, it starts with a wow clip. <laughs> it's perfect. Enjoy this uh, mediocre. Oh. <laughs>
I'm like 20 seconds out. Is he alive? Rock is alive, yeah. Oh, he's f***ing life tapping. I might be able to come out. <laughs> I f***ing got him! Oh, he's shot dude dude that was dirty man yeah i just stole Clean it yourself off of it i just stole it off of him check this out Jeez, dude oh there you Ooh. go that was nice watch i'm like trying to trying to position it and then i get drilled All held our breath. <laughs> yeah, I was, dude. That was scary as f dude. I thought I was gonna hit it in. That was thank you. Did. You did. Yeah, there go. <laughs> Whoever that was. Incredible handsome. player. Yeah. In also handsome. Handsome. Handsome guy. But probably the best <laughs> player should probably compete in these. I uh, <laughs> I love that the opening clip is me just blasting a dude while running into the instance. Yeah. It's like I just rezzed, I'm like half health. There's like six <laughs> level sixty horde, one of them's like twenty percent health. I'm just like ah! <laughs> Wait, you're you're Alliance? Great. I'm alive. Oh, well, boy. It, it, the explainer is because I love Paladins from Diablo. Oh, God. I know. worse. I know. <laughs> and then when the game launched, you know, obviously Alliance only had Paladins. I call Paladins the trust fund babies of WoW. Well, that's all trust right. Trust fund babies They are. They get of everything. Wow. They can be any spec. They can do anything. I'm Have you heard of annoying. Druids? I dig this. Well, but they're cool because they're oh. bears. Did, yeah. Did you play a Druid? <laughs> My husband did. Oh, there we go. Uh, Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. That's because I wouldn't let him play Pally. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I, uh, I love I love everything Pally's. Like even in um, even in like Skyrim, the character I would build first mm -hmm. was a Pally. So. Even we bought new dice, and those are Pally. I bought the Pally. Dice. Oh wow! Yeah, dice, yeah. yeah, for for, for some D &D. all in. Mm -hmm. I love it. Gotta get a tattoo. I actually want to get Ashburn. Yeah. Do oh that'd be sick. Ashbringer's yeah. tight. Yeah, I'll, Ashbringer's the coolest. I'll give it up to the the ally for that. Yeah, the, Ashbringer's just like so freaking such a cool, cool. sword. Yeah, everything about He's it. He's a dream. It was well, great, and He's so I, dreamy. and tier two set in classic was the coolest. The pally stuff, the judgment. The judgment set. But do, do eh, you're horde though, so you might not agree. <laughs> I'll just I let you have your opinion. I know, I appreciate I actually do really appreciate that. Yeah, I'm you, sorry can have, for, you can have your opinion. It's yeah. okay. No, this is good. It's America. We, we can debate it some more for sure. We have a whole hour. <laughs> no, after. but like in, in classic WoW, there was that huge like horde alliance, like actual hate. Yeah. Like, they hated each other, right? And it's coming back in. It's classic. like Xbox versus PS4. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The same thing. More intense. Right. Yeah. Console like. wars. Instead, it was WoW wars. WoW wars. <laughs> Pally is WoW God Mode. No, yeah. maybe. I, beat, I bet Paladin Thanks, beat Avocado Johnny and Digital. Toast too. Yeah. No, maybe. 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 <laughs> I don't know. All right, we've got what? Like, I don't know, a couple more stories? What do you think? Oh, I'm sorry. Shall I was like way this? in my head about Oh, no, Paladins. I love the sidetracking. It's good, right, guys? Yeah. You guys enjoy it. I, I enjoy the, it, so I'm sure you guys enjoy it. Paladin Yay! Paladin the Mastermind best stamming story from WoW too, because Arthas was a Pally. Just... Well, and that's the whole reason I don't like ballet. Because right. of Arthas? Yeah. yeah. This is yeah. great content. I love guys. it. Dude. I love the back and forth. The, the story People of need to hear this so live. Yeah. <laughs> well, they can. They can, literally. She's mic'd. <laughs> yeah, and mic'd. they've been switching because everyone's yeah. killing it. Oh, Rez is for the Horde. For the Horde. Yeah, Hell most, yeah. Most Hell people are for yeah. the Horde. Yeah. All right. Google Stadia, believe it or not, is still in the news. 
Interesting. I don't know. It's a thing. Anyways, is begging you to invite them to the party at this point. That's what they like to do. Or just even the group text. They're, pro they're promising good things in return. Um, in this case, three more games for Stadia Pro members in March, Grid, SteamWorld Quest, and SteamWorld Dig 2. The SteamWorld series is pretty rad, by the way, so there's that. And Dig 2 is an amazing uh, Metroidvania-type game, so I'll say this is a nice little collection added by Google. What I can't say is whether that will make you actually use Stadia, because I can't promise anything. It's but just, I will not be using it's it. It's way too early. It's so early. Yeah. The tech it's isn't so there. It's too early. People it, don't have the it, capability. The infrastructure just does not exist to exactly. support that. Like in idea, like on paper, it is great. Some I'm people I'm going to play it wearing it. my Google glasses. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Yeah, <laughs> you exactly. know? Whatever happened to those? Oh, my god. Maybe gosh. it's inside the Stadia. Yeah, exactly. Maybe. Maybe that, they stole the tech. Honestly, that would actually be really cool now that you've put that in my head. Like Google Glasses and then you're like, I want to pull out my stadium and just puts a little monitor on your glasses in the oh, world. That'd be great. I, I like how you acted like it was so far away, but really it's like here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I it's just, just you're playing in your brain. Render it like here, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's just essentially their own virtual reality. Yeah, yeah. we need five G. That's still maybe a while you should go away. pitch to them. Carriers they need have some to ideas. The nah, five G won't solve it either. Yeah. For five G. They built them, but I don't know what's gonna happen. Really? So you don't have the capability yet no. in your neighborhood? No, but the oh. things are there to make it work. Okay, so the towers are in Shaheen's neighborhood, FYI. <laughs> We're all gonna go hang out at Shaheen's and play yeah. Stadia. Some, yeah, some Stadia, <laughs> exactly. It's perfect. It's the hub. Yeah, it's yeah the Stadia it's totally, get down. It's, yeah, so if you're listening, Google. Stadia convention 2020. We're gonna do a thing for you. Shaheen's house. Yes! It's a go-go time party. for Shaheen's house party time, yeah. but also Platinum Games. Yeah. As the much-loved studio has announced its first ever self-published game codenamed Project GG. Oh, good game. Yep. The man who loves to block people on Twitter, Hideo Kamiya, not Kaji, oh no, Hideki, Hideki, Hideki Kamiya, I thought it was Hideo, Hideo I was like Kojima. almost Kojima, but not, um, is directing the game, and I guess I should uh, add that he's pr uh, his previous directing work includes Okami, which is great, Bayonetta, which is also great, and The Wonderful mm. 101, so... Yeah. Sorry, I got distracted by this trailer. He saved a dog. There's That's a little cute. puppy there. He's saving That's a dog. Some bait right there. That's some gamer bait if I've yeah. ever seen it. It's like, hey, puppy yeah. and a it's giant crazy robot guy. If you put guy. a puppy in your game, you almost <gasps> guarantee sales. What? You fight kaiju? I'm this is in. cool. Hold up. Did the puppy become a kaiju or are they saving no. the puppy? No. I think that the puppy is... was just an observer, like watching the kaiju grow. Yeah, Project I'm on board. GG. Project Agogo. Agogo. <laughs> Um, okay, so yeah, so he's got the chops, and as you can see by the trailer, it's pretty cool. Uh, now, not much known is uh, not much is known about this project, uh, GG, so far. Uh, though the teaser trailer has obviously an adorable little floof that we just saw um, that ends by you know the. Uh, Sorry. Ends up being saved. Oh, the dog ends up being saved. I didn't see that. Uh, by what seems like a game's main character. This uh, protagonist then supersizes to take... I'm just describing the trailer. You guys already yeah, saw it. Yeah, you saw it. Anyways, um, it's giving off, so, giving off some major Pacific Rim vibes, which I totally love and I'm all about. Um, but we'll see what happens. We don't have any more details beyond this trailer. Someone wrote God Dogzilla. Maybe. Perhaps. Uh, what's up, Alex Mercer? He says, hey, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Um, this, this game makes too much sense to be Kojima. Oh, yeah. I love that. This there is true. There wasn't some lady called, like, Mom this is true. or Lady or, sorry. Oh, which anyway, makes it a little bit more confusing, yeah. a bit more Kojima. Maybe he had some influence. I don't know. All right, the name Fuser makes me think of a sketchy energy drink. But it's actually the title of the next game from rock band creator Harmonix. Yeah, unsurprisingly, it's a music-focused game, which they're specialized in, in which you will, quote, seamlessly blend vocals, bass lines, beats, and riffs. You can do this from a hundred different songs, such as Bad Guy by Billie Eilish, Better Now by Post Malone, and my personal favorite on the list, Good As Hell by Lizzo. Um, but my only complaint so far is the lack of Rihanna. That being said, uh, we'll learn about more Fuser this very weekend at PAX East, where Harmonix will have hands-on demos. I'm excited to see if anyone's tried it and is at PAX, let me know what you think. I'm interested. I'm interested to see what Harmonix does next. Mm. They've, they've crushed it in the past. They like owned the late 2000s. They totally did. It's time for a resurgence of Harmonix games. I'm down. I'm down for the count. 
All right, Overwatch is currently in the midst of Ash's Mardi Gras challenge. That's right, meaning you can uh, nab yourself a flashy purple and gold outfit for the damage hero. On top of that, Blizzard has also added experimental mode in arcade, according to Polygon. Uh, just like it sounds, just like it sounds, experimental mode is about letting the developer test out different things. The first such test is called triple damage and forces teams to consist of three damage characters, two supports and a tank. Mm. I'm curious what other shakes, shakeups would you mm. like to see in the Overwatch world? Let us know in the comments. Kyle, you play Overwatch a lot. Do you have any I haven't played requests? much recently since I quit Blizzard, but... <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're just playing WoW. Yeah, well, that's true. Yeah, I do like classic WoW, but uh, that's Blizzard. No, I just but, but I she, meant Overwatch. She asked oh. Overwatch specifically. Yeah, yeah, but uh, it just the triple DPS, one tank, two support thing sounds like a, um, a queue time fix. Um. It doesn't sound like a, a composition fix. It just sounds like everyone I agree with wants. You. Yeah, everyone wants to play yeah. DPS. Not many people want to play tanks. People yeah. really like support. So, however, I will add. That a lot of people who want to play DPS really suck at DPS. Yes. So potentially you are upping your ability to have a, a competent team member. Yeah. yeah, that's true. So there's also that. Yeah. yeah. That's super that's aggravating when someone's playing DPS and they just suck. Yeah. Or they hold on to their ultimate for the whole game. Right. That's like me. I do it all the time. Yeah. They, uh, <laughs> Saving it for the I don't play a lot moment. of Overwatch. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they want it for like, I want to get it for a six kill, not to get the objective, I guess. It's, they want the play of the game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Play of the game. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but I'm excited because Overwatch fundamentally is a really good game. Yeah. It I just, think they're doing cool things. Like, I yeah. love this oh, yeah. Mardi Gras challenge. Like, bring it on. Mm. Bring on more challenges like that. The developers are I'm super down. talented and yeah. th they're making changes and doing stuff to try and address the issues. So yeah. I support it. It's really good. All right. As if there wasn't enough farming, mining, and relationship building to do in Stardew Valley. <gasps> Yay! Yay! I got a Stardew Valley story! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> I searched the interwebs and I found a Stardew Valley story. Because I had to! Uh, there's almost like no Loved episode. It. I want all episodes to have a Stardew Valley story. Just like Baby Yoda? Just, just like Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. It's Stardew the two together. It just makes oh me happy. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah oh, we, we have a Baby Yoda story for you. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Uh, the game is apparently getting another free content update in the future. Uh, do <laughs> This is according to PC Gamer uh, that says the creator uh, Eric Barone tweeted that update 1.5 is in the works. He stayed mum on deets for the update, though the last one included new music, monsters, and romance events, which reminds me of a pro tip. The, the Stardew Valley soundtrack is perfect work music. You're welcome for increasing your productivity and helping your mood and maybe getting you dancing a little bit. Ooh. But yeah, it's a really good soundtrack. Check it out. Um, Boulder's Gate 3 got its grand debut at PAX East. Of course, we have to have some PAX East news this week, uh, which is happening this very weekend, so be sure to stay tuned for more PAX East news. Probably going to happen on our next show. But anyways, first impressions are super enthusiastic for a Boulder's Gate 3. Meanwhile, my eyes still hurt a bit after watching that intro cinematic. Whoa, Woo! Whoa. Oh, my God. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Oh, that that's was great. That was, that was something. Ooh, okay. But they clearly know what they're doing. People are super hyped. Um, but yeah, that, that's, that's a gnarly slug right there. Anyways, can't, be sure to shield your eyeballs from here on out. Um, but other than that, I was pleased with what I saw so far of the turn-based RPG. Look, there's some actual gameplay, which is pretty great. Um, and apparently, we'll all get hands-on time soon since Boulder Gate 3 is a... Uh, Boulder's Gate 3, sorry, is planned for uh, Steam Early Access in Google Stadia, and Google Stadia again, uh, sometime this year. Now, if you're holding out for a PS4 or Xbox One port, uh, you might want to give up on that. Yeah, GameSpot says developer Larian Studios uh, doesn't think the current consoles could Ooh. run the RPG, so Ooh, it's going to be a bit of a wait, guys. Ooh. It's going to be a bit of a wait. But... Uh, hopefully it's some early access The stuff. peasants don't, don't get Baldur's Gate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you know that Pokemon Day was yesterday? Yeah. Apparently, <laughs> according to Twitter. I was like, yep, okay, next story. Yep. It was a day. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was yesterday. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, so we have some news for you about that. The annual festivity revealed the Pokemon of the year. Yeah, they what? did that. They did a vote. Well, hold up. <laughs> Voted by trainers around the world, the winner was a pocket monster that wears his tongue as a scarf. 
Yes. Greninja. Yeah. An old fave. Lucario, uh, just so, so you guys know, Lucario came in second, followed by uh, Mimikyu. Mimikyu in third. Not familiar with Mimikyu. Let me see if I can see it in the It, it just already went by. It looks like a... Like I missed a, him. Like a, I've never heard him. Yeah, it looks like Damn a little it. like ghost Pikachu. I do love Lucario, though. It's like a crazy little mouth. Yeah. Yeah. But I, too, would have guessed Mewtwo, because he's my fave. But anyway. Um, I gotta say, where is my Squirtle squad, actually? For reals. Because I know Mewtwo's the thing, but, like, we need some OG Pokemon on that list. Squirtle would have been my bet. What about you? You know Squirtle. Squirtle. You know Squirtle. What about Bulbasaur? He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. No Pikachu love, He's though. Yeah. What the hell happened? Pikachu's also, it's just, it's iconic. It's a mascot. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, exactly. He's overused. Yeah. He's done. He's just way too popular. He's too popular. So A-list. Yeah. So A-list now. Nobody yeah. cares. Look at um, that snob. I like a hard working Pokemon. <laughs> he drinks a lot now. Yeah. I like yeah. blue collar Pokemon. Nuts. That's why I like Squirtle. Yeah. He's a lot of Overwatch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot He's of a Overwatch. Genji main for sure. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, all right, all I right, love all right. it. Are we scrolling through this? Um, where, where let me see. The Pokemon Day celebration uh, didn't stop there. Oh, yeah. There's a special Mewtwo raid. So, speaking of Mewtwo, uh, there is a raid happening in Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, that runs throughout Sunday. So, be sure to check that out. Good luck to all the trainers out there. And that's all for news Ooh, today. Look at that still on that photo. Oh, my God. I didn't plan that. You just look like an angel. Thank Aww. you. Fantastic. But you're just saying that. <laughs> I mean, because you hell? love me. Yeah, well, okay, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, stuff. Anyway, sorry. Uh, no, it's all good. So that was the news for you guys. Thank you so much uh, for tuning into this uh, portion of the news. There was a lot. There was a lot of good stuff. Ooh. A really good week Woo! for you. Um, so now uh, I get to play for my Let's Play this week, Dr Dark Crystal, actually. There's a movie from way back in the day. Yeah. There's a TV show on Netflix. And now they have a game made by Netflix, believe it or not. Whoa. They make video games Whoa. now. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. And it's a legit video game. Anyways, it's 20 bucks. I checked it out. Um, here's my Let's Play of that game. Be sure to stay tuned afterwards because we'll have our discussion portion, which includes some Baby Yoda news. Yeah. We'll be right back. Hello, fine people of the internet, including everyone in the studio right now. It's Naomi. In the past, I'm about to play a game that I've never ever even touched or played before, but it's called The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance Tactics. Huge fan of Dark Crystal, the show, and the movie, so let's hope the game is just as good. Finger guns. Let's do this. This game is brought to you by Netflix. Alright, let's begin. Boss fight. We get it. You're menacing. We do not like you. I don't have any range attacks. Okay, well, let's just skip for now. Grant barrier to targets in a, an area. This one gets attacks first because he doesn't have a barrier. Need more ranged attacks. I mean, we should attack this guy, right? Band together. Yay, gain accuracy. I like this. Okay, well, I'm gonna skip my turn. Can't really attack anything right now. This guy. This guy, too. Ah! Oh my goodness. I do a range attack. Yes! Ah! Got him. So done. This guy's gonna. <gasps> oh! I guess it's not that powerful. <laughs> to all allies, Grand Barrage targets in all three. Let's do that again. Maybe these guys. Yeah, let's see if we can get this guy. Whoa, I've got some powerful attacks here. Ah! Oh, that is really nice. Keep that guy alive. Can I range attack? What can I do? Range attack. Ah! Alright, a couple more hits. This guy's down. I mean, maybe I should attack those in front of me. Perhaps. No! Oh. Of course he would go for my healer. Ah! What a dingus. Oh my ah. god. Oh yeah, I should be able to attack this guy. Too 
much. Attack an enemy and knock it back two tiles. I want to do that to this guy. Oh, I can't do it unless frickin' frack. What a loser. I'm just gonna attack this guy for one. And stun, inflict stun on targets in a line. Oh, bummer. Why don't he just... Okay, maybe I save that for later. Let's do this. Okay. He is a dingus. I don't like this guy. Oh, okay. Okay, we've got this guy who's so powerful. So we're gonna move. Kill this guy. With our 90 power, 92 power. He's dead. Oh no, he's gonna go after my queen! We've got a powerful attack. What about a throw? Mark target reducing its evasion three turns or attack. Deal damage and I don't know, what should I do? I'm gonna definitely mark this guy for evasion again. Oh, I attacked my own character. It's okay, it's all for the good of the, the team, right? Let's uh, move here. He's got magic. Ah! I didn't know those things kill you. I guess that's what happens. Ah, oh, no. Okay, but at least I got him some power here. Okay, we're gonna move closer to this guy. What can I do? What can I do? I can't do anything. Okay. He's such a cheater. Attack an enemy and knock it back two tiles. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Oh, he's powerful. Okay. I think I can get this guy in one shot. Come on. Guys, this guy, by the way, is totally just in everyone's way. Doesn't care. I hate this guy. Oh, now he's going to get both of us? I hate him. All right, we're going to attack him with all we've got. No, let's just attack. Let's just get him down. Let's get him down. He's not. He's not. He's not going to get down. Oh, bummer. This really is, uh, it's an attack here. This is so bad. Not get back to you, Childs. Let's do that. Let's just attack this guy. Ah. Ugh. Brutal. I don't know if I played this right, my friends. Oh, he's gonna heal him now. Ah. Well, oh, I didn't know he was his healer. I should have checked that. Ugh. Okay, we're... Oh, I just died? Ah. Okay, this is really going badly. How can I do this? Uh, I really don't know. Oh, maybe if I do Shockwave. Okay. He resisted! <sighs> Boo. Oh my god! This is it! It's down to the two of us! Oh my god, that is so unfair! He's too powerful! He's out of range. Are you serious? Okay, what? Holy cow. I survived? What am I supposed to do? I guess, move? Where am I supposed to go? I, I guess? Oh, I see. This is really, yeah. Done, Dad. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, we'll have to end it here, my friends. I tried my hardest. All right, everyone. So that's a wrap on uh, Dark Crystal, the video game. Uh, believe it or not, it's pretty fun. It's really difficult, and it might be worth a check out. It's twenty bucks, available anywhere. Uh, back to everyone in the studio. <laughs> you guys are working. I am going to bed. Bye. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. How's everyone doing? Past you was talking smack. I was talking smack. Mm -hmm. Well, I tend to do that because it's like the running joke. Yeah. Because like I'm always in the past. Yeah. Um. So what do we got going on today in the discussion portion? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, do, we, do we need scripts? No, we here? don't need script or anything. Oh, okay. Cool. Actually, we're doing great. Um. Our t our time we at DreamHack. Oh, we have no more comments. <laughs> oh, I got something caught in my throat. Because mm. we got ready for the tweets. I'm sadsies. Oh. Okay, we're getting ready for the tweets. I didn't know it was on purpose. I'm sorry. That's it's all, all good. Saying. So we have a DreamHack Anaheim 2020 look because I was there, believe it or not, with Kyle. 
Yay! That's me. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I had something in my throat. All good. Um, so this was actually, I should mention at the top of the sh this discussion portion, actually, that um, we're going to be uh, doing this quick vlog, a look at the vlog, but also shout out to moi, who this past week got sworn in to become an American citizen! Yeah, I was there. That, that was cool. me. Oh, that song. That song is really bad. I don't know the words. I didn't like that song. I like the song other was, one, yeah, the, the Star Spangled Banner. 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 <laughs> How does it go again? The Star Spangled. Oh, say can you see? No, I'm not going to sing the whole thing. Yeah, the, just that, that uh, Proud to be American one is. Proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. <laughs> Anyways, oh, Canada, says Johnny. <laughs> yes, don't worry, guys, I still maintain my Canadian citizenship, but now I have the American stuff, too. So I'm both. And this is a little cup of old M&Ms from last week, holding my little American flag. How perfect. Yay. All right, but uh, thanks for all the congrats, guys. I saw you guys uh, congratulating me in the comments. Mastermind and Mike, I appreciate it. And Johnny, uh, Shaheen with the hands up Woo! in the hundred. She's actually throwing up the Wu Tang. The Wu Tang Clan. Perfect. Um, but anyways, that my what? Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you, but you just like Wu Tang. <laughs> Isn't that how you're supposed to do it? Yeah, it's just you did it so gently. Oh. Uh, anyway, just let's show move me the proper no, way. Let's move forward with <laughs> okay. the discussion. All right. What else are we talking about? The point was I wanted to lead with the uh, citizenship thing because that was part of my week. And then previous to that, on a Sunday, I was at DreamHack. I hosted an award show. Hell yeah. We had a lot of fun. You there was it. a lot to be had. We actually met some really cool people who will help us, uh, who helped us with this uh, cool stuff. We'll be unboxing in another part of the discussion portion. These games right here. So stay tuned for that. Uh. Factories, yeah, Fantastic Factories, and uh, welcome to your perfect home. Yeah. So we're gonna be unboxing those. But for now, check out this vlog so you can get get a sense of our Dream Hack experience, and we'll come right back and we'll talk to you more about it. Perfect. See if you have any questions. Woo. It is 7.47 in the morning. We are on our way to DreamHack Anaheim. Anaheim. DreamHack. Is that how you say that? Anaheim. Anaheim. Yep. We're going to be hosting an award show tonight. You're going to be. I'm not doing I'm going to be hosting an award show I'm called not. The Dreamies. Yeah, I'm not hosting it. You're there for moral support. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're here at the Dreamies. Well, on? rehearsal, yeah. backstage, in front of stage. I've never hosted an award show before. Me neither. A little nervous about it. You're gonna nail it. Thank you. You're doing great so far too. Thanks. See, team spirit. All right, so we just did rehearsals. It went pretty good. We only had like 20 minutes to rehearse. And now it's time to check out the show floor because it's finally opening up to the attendees. Let's check it out. It's good, it makes sense. I know, we should shoot a movie here. Tis the Anaheim, Anaheim Convention Center's right behind me. Kyle's behind the camera doing things. And we're about to check out some uh, food trucks because we hungry. Food trucks. Yeah. Oh, these are fancy food trucks, look at that. Behind 
the scenes back there is where we're gonna be interviewed for the pre show. We have some special guests for you guys. You wanna you wanna bring them in? Yeah, let's bring in the, the host of the Dreamies. We have Naomi Kyle and Hi. Captain Sparkles. Hello, hello, hello. So do you have time to play video games still? Yes. I'll just make content that reflects what's popular and I'll make sure to play the games for the content. I like her, she's smart. That was the sound of your mind blowing. Just blows the top right off of that mind. Thanks a lot, guys. Have yourselves a good evening. And we're back. And we're back. What, so, a good, what a good sign off. What a good sign off. I know. That was me hosting an award show. Kind of my very first award show, actually. I don't nice. think I've done, I've you done like IGN BAFTAs. Awards. I, done, I did the BAFTAs where I presented an award. But this is like me hosting the entire thing from start to finish. Like all the nominees. Announcing the winner is the whole thing. It was fun. Yeah, you crushed it. Crushed it, and it was a good weekend. Um, and then right after that, I became an American. <laughs> just, so it was a great week, all around. Very, very that. productive week. Just like that. Now, if you had um, not crushed it, would you still get to be an American? I don't know. <laughs> That's up to you guys. That's up to America. Um, but yeah, so that was a fun time at DreamHack. Uh, we met some amazing people. We got to really get to a sense of what the event is like. It's actually really cool. It's very low key. I mean, if you're a gamer and you just want easy access to games, there's a bunch of esports happening throughout the convention center. It's a really fun time. What were you gonna say? Hi, peeps says, can y'all say hi back? We can't. We can't. It's, it's, it's impossible. It's my religion. <laughs> um, and someone says, nice Wu Tang hand sign. Thank you. I did that, Tag Gamer. I did it right. Um, but maybe not as aggressive as I should have done it. It's just not something you throw up all dainty. You're like, Wu Tang. Wu Tang. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was funny. I don't even think I'm throwing it up right. But anyway, it doesn't. Let's, again, move past it. Move past the Wu Tang. All right. So, guess what? Not yet. Stand by for that. Ready. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for some more baby. Yoda news. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love Baby Yoda. One of these days, we'll have a show and there will be no Baby Yoda news. Never. And it will not feel the same. And you guys will all be really sad. What you need to do once we're done with the show is just cut a highlight of all the Baby Yoda news. All stuff. the Baby Yoda news. As well as the highlight of all of our Xbox sponsor us. Agreed. And then we'll get Xbox to sponsor us. That's Xbox how that works. Um, so yeah, in the news, I yeah. mean, it wasn't really that much news, because last week we covered how there was a Hasbro animatronic doll, and they actually had a toy, uh, what was it called, a toy fair somewhere in the world, and they got to see in person, people got to walk up to and see in person this animatronic toy, and he's actually in, the child is actually in his little, uh, what would you call that? His, uh, hover bed? <laughs> His uh, hover bed? I don't know what you would call it. It's an orb. It's an orb. Yeah. Um, anyways, so they filmed some footage of what it was like uh, in person, kind of its movements, how its eyes move, and you can kind of see it here. Um, you see the, you can just see <laughs> deep into the depths of it. It's, uh, it's buffering, soul. guys. Baby but Yoda, this is the child buffer, pose. Yoda. This is when uh, Baby Yoda likes to meditate. That's what he'll do. He'll close his eyes, clearly. That's what that is. Uh, but no, anyways, you guys should go check out the tweet, actually, if you really want to get a sense of what it was like, because I think there's some sounds as well. You can hear the Baby Yoda noises, which we saw in the video from last week, where they announced this whole Hasbro, Hasbro toy, which, again, we do not have a release date for. Um, also, an un, another news that came out, because, of course, I'm just going to recap all the Baby news, Baby Yoda news. Um, there was... Baby news? No, no Baby news. Uh, there was... This is actually... I didn't want to show the tweet because I find it kind of silly, uh, but apparently the U.S. Army has uh, an Abrams tank named Baby Yoda now. So I'm going to read you the tweet, but I find it's kind of eye-rolly. I think people are taking this Baby Yoda thing a little too far, especially That's if it infiltrates... Something like the army. <laughs> yeah, that's that's when you know it's dead. Yeah. Maybe we're, um, done. Maybe we're done. Maybe we're done at that point. Maybe but it done. looks like it's the M1 Abrams armored track 
vehicles. Now they're all aligned and ready for inventory after loading operations concluded on the American roll-on roll-off vessel. And on it is marked on the actual tank where the cannon shoots out. It says Baby Yoda. I mean, the Abrams is a very cool piece of machinery, but... It is. Uh, the meme is dead. The meme has died. Oh. Anyways, that was more of an eye rolly baby news, uh, news for you. But I actually, uh, I, the Baby Yoda was the point. The whole animatronic experience looks really good in person. So is if you go find done? that Maybe. tweet, just look up Baby Yoda Toy Fair, you'll find it. Um, in other news, Hideo Kojima seems to be teasing some weird stuff. Now, I didn't get this story in the main show, only because it happened recently, and it was a story that was published, oh, actually not that recently, t February 20, 19th, but I guess there was a story written up yesterday about how people think that this is Hideo Kojima maybe teasing another Death Stranding game no, or something. No, it's Silent Hill. Well, okay, so that's the some, so there's two tweets we're talking oh. about. So this one is apparently something Death Stranded related. People are thinking maybe because it is out on PC, right? Yeah. So I mean, what else could there be? Death Stranding on Switch? I don't know. Yeah. But we don't know. He's saying coming 2020. What does that even mean? PC. You're yeah. yeah, maybe. So the other tweet that came out uh, as well, uh, if we can move on to that next slide. Uh, Kojima Productions looks like they tweeted, Sorry to be silent, everyone. I've been really busy lately. I think I can say more soon about what we're going to do. Or what, we're, we, what we are going to. Kojima Productions. So everyone, of course, jumped the gun and was like, What? He said the word silent. Does that mean a Silent Hill game is being worked on by Kojima? Well, that would be crazy yeah. if they brought it back. And like you said, the PT. Yeah. The Silent Hill PT. PT. I yeah. wish I had it. I wish I would have kept it. Have Some people still have it. it. You do? Mm -hmm. Well, hot dang. Maybe mm -hmm. we could bring it on the show and play it someday. Yes, Maybe it's a little that. too scary, though, because we're kid-friendly. It's a little spooky. Oh. I know. We're kind of kid-friendly. We're kind of. We do talk about some, like, not-so-kiddy yeah. things. But, um, anyways, so that was, uh, that was some news this week because Kojima, he's been teasing, talking, like, working on some new story stuff. Uh, now it's this tweet about coming 2020, like that's really cryptic. And of course, yeah, everyone's saying it's this is so pointing to something. Because who would say, sorry to be silent, everyone? No, I understand saying, come on. sorry it to be quiet. Like, silent. Like, like silent is... Sorry to be quiet, sorry I'm MIA. Like there's different ways to be silent is nothing anyone ever says. I know. Really? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I, I, I disagree. Silent? Sorry to be silent, like it, I, it, English is his second language and... If he's not tweeting, like... This is silent, I'm dead. I'm done. Don't, don't, silent, totally. I'm, I'm, yeah. I would say... I, would I say, hope it is. Should we do a bet on this show? Yeah. And see what okay. happens? All right, five bucks. <laughs> can the audience wow. bet? Wow. I don't know if the audience can bet. I can't. <laughs> I can't afford five dollars. Get out of here. It. What about Canadian? Oh. That's that like more like three bucks drop. American. Three dollars. Yeah. Three dollars. Like, I, I hope it is Silent Hill. Yeah, but people I just have think been this begging is very, for it. Like, I think after P Death Stranding, how polarizing it was, Kojima needs to go back and do something that is a sure hit. Yeah, but it's and Konami. I think Silent Hill Konami will do owns that. it. Konam Konami owns Silent Hill. That is true. That's a good and point. They, Especially though, that's why it's such big news and why he's yeah. quite, like they yeah. were stupid to not. Yeah, well, they're stupid to let him go. Yeah, maybe they work something yeah, out maybe with they the production. How bad of like just a PR move that would be. A joke. Yeah, Should yeah. 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 Turn your mic on. Uh, I was fixing it. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. We can hear Michelle in the room. Let us know if you guys can't hear. Yeah, we'll sorry. reiterate what she said. Yeah, it's on, it's on. Yeah. <laughs> can we see the comments? Can the comments? Oh yeah, we can up? scroll yeah. down to the comments. Uh, no, 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 caffeine comments. Check. Oh, the caffeine comments. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, uh, let's do, let's dig into this further. Uh, it's, it's. I'm interested. It's. I want it to be because Silent Hill is amazing. Yeah. I, I beat the first and, and second one. And there was so one much hype for it, and then. PT. It went yeah. to. It went to. Agreed. Deadsville. I'm hoping they realize what a mistake they made. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe I they're like, so. please, Kojima, let's work together yeah. and make it happen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and like the way they did maybe. with James Gunn, you know, like here's a bunch of yeah. Up. We yeah. really messed up. Yeah. Uh, it's time for Konami and Kojima to kiss and make up. Agreed. Agreed. That would be well a huge said. Story. Yeah. Beautiful. Hopes that, that was Prince Leo, but yeah. Tech Gamer says Silent Hill needs to make a comeback. We yeah, we're in agreement with that. It was, always, it was so crazy Everyone the first Silent, Silent Hill yeah. when. When those little figures in the 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 fog would be like running in front of you. Oh you. yeah! Oh my god! I mean, when you see what Scary he did with Death Stranding, and you think that uh, in a Silent Hill world. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just 
He, he makes great games and great experiences, for sure. Exactly. All right, so that was that news that uh, we got in, because I couldn't just overlook that one. Um, let's take a look at this quick um, trailer that came out this week. Actually, you showed me this. It was on oh. Twitter. It was trending. Um, but Star Wars The High Republic publishing campaign was announced this week. There's a video for it. Let's check it out right now. Oh, but is it a four minutes long? I don't yeah, think we'll have time. It's okay. We, we, let's do it. we got four minutes. Let's just look at it. Um, we'll you guys can... Uh, it's actually really inspiring and really nice and really entertaining mm -hmm. and interesting. And, and yeah. then we'll come back and talk more about what it is. Yeah. Be right back. We're finding ourselves at a very exciting moment with the Skywalker saga coming to an end. We're at a place of what's next for Star Wars. One of the things we've always done is be able to use our franchise platforms to explore the creative potential of the Star Wars galaxy. And so what if publishing was more of an incubation place and bring in great talent and just let their imaginations run free? put together a really unique writer's room where we had diverse voices with very different opinions about Star Wars. We all love Star Wars, but we're all coming in from very different places. This has been a very free environment for everybody to just throw things out there. We've all done lots of storytelling, but this is unique and really special. The idea that this thing has been simmering for so long. Mm -hmm. It's the secret history of the, of the galaxy. Yep, it goes way back to the beginning of Star Wars. We gave them essentially a, a blank slate. What would you like to tell? For over a thousand generations, the Jedi Knights are the guardians of peace and justice. A line that we've been hearing since 1977, and we thought, you know, what does that look like? It is a golden age where there's much more peace and calm in the galaxy. So we're calling it the High Republic. The description that we've used for the Jedi of this era is that they are the Jedi Knights of the Round Table. But Star Wars isn't just about Jedi, and we will tell stories of new smugglers, new scoundrels, new bounty hunters. The threat and the tension really comes from the Republic's borders, because the Republic does not extend from one side of the galaxy to the other. It's a bit of a Wild West new frontier. We see a different kind of Jedi that patrols the frontiers and is more of a Texas Ranger. We're now bringing in concept artists, illustrators, and visualists, the same way that you would when you're making a movie. We even had Ian McKay come down and just do sketch after sketch for us. When you have a guy who designed the look for Darth Maul sketching Jedi for you, it doesn't get any cooler than this. The scale of this initiative is really new for us. We're going to have stories for adults and teens and kids. We're building this out simultaneously across multiple publishers. It gives us the ability to tell vast interconnected stories across multiple years. There will be a core group of heroes that will expand over time. There'll be villains. Our main villain are the group called the Nile. We kind of like to refer to them as space Vikings. Their motto is, you can't take it with you, but we can take it from you. Our story starts with what we're calling the Great Disaster. It wouldn't be Star Wars without adventure. And there's definitely a series of events that will spin the galaxy into a dangerous new direction, and it'll give the opportunity for heroes to rise up. The cool thing about this is that there's going to be a story for every Star Wars fan. It's really fun to be able to keep readers on their toes. This era is ripe for storytelling. The Eureka moment was the question, what scares the Jedi? And that made us all go, ooh, something wicked this way comes. And there you have it. More <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> it's... Oh, yeah, so did you, you looked at it. You mm -hmm. were curious about it. I thought it was a good 
talking point because I we don't know a lot about it, but it seems like they kind of threw this you know out out at us and we're like, oh, this is new. We didn't know they were working on this, and uh, it looks like it's going to be comics, a mix of comics and stories and books, like more more you know written like, like extended universe extended stuff, maybe? universe stuff, and not necessarily new TV shows, movies, stuff like that. I like Star Wars. I like the universe. I like the idea of seeing what's going on when the Jedi's were at their most powerful. Yeah. And I like the approach <coughs> that they took, which is like, let's Pardon just bring me. on some awesome writers who are a huge fan of Star Wars, who know the world inside out, to create these new worlds and these new stories, yeah. which I love. Um, so yeah, there you go. Jedi Knights of the Round Table. Um, so we wanted to show you guys that. And in the meantime, uh, right before we have Michelle on, who is still waiting by the Woo! sidelines, but she'll be on with us in a second. We have some quick unboxings to do. These are our friends who we met, actually at DreamHack. Unboxing. 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 Yay! <laughs> On the ball with that one. I it. love that little teeny. Um, okay, so are we that, have trouble with this? No, this is good. So we're unboxing these board games. We uh, met up I with Deep with Water this. Games and Distribution. They make this. They make board games. Um, I got, okay. I got really stupid fingers. Okay, I can do it. Um, they make board games. They make um, mouse pads. They have all sorts of all stuff. All sorts of stuff. They do literal publishing. Uh, That's right. Books. They do comics. They That's do right. And so these are the games that they let us have as a cool way of showing you guys, you know, kind of what they do. And these cool games. I'm also having trouble with this one, actually, guys. Oh. <laughs> oh, there you go. I got nope. it. I got it. Use my. Uh, to get my hopes up that I didn't suck and then dash them. <laughs> and uh, as they told me um, when we met with them, it says here Joseph Z. Chen and Justin Faulkner. And they're all actual, these are uh, engineers. Real life engineers who made and concept is, concepted this game. This has got a DeLorean on it. That's oh, really wow. cool. I actually really love the aesthetic of it. It's a bit Fallout. Is it? You, yeah. you got my face? Yeah. This, um, Do we have the face? Yeah. Kyle's yeah. face? Yeah. There's a DeLorean on this With one. With the DeLoreans? Yeah. 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 Um, and I think this one, oh no, which game is here? I think this one plays up to 100 people. And one. One what? to 100. You can play as one person Dang. or up to 100 people. Battle Royale tabletop. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. Oh, okay, cool. And we're having a housewarming soon, and like we're a, gonna play like this bad game. boy. Yeah. These both, both of these. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm checking out Fantastic Factories. Build, train, manufacture. Oh, look at all these little individual pieces. You can pop them out. I'm all about it. I'm gonna pop out the. It's pretty good quality ones at the too. Top here. Like you can feel it. You can do that. Yeah, this is the quality is really good. I do agree with that. All right, so you have all these different peons or little and plastic bags. Peons is that the right? I don't think peons right. What is <laughs> peons? Is a word. It is a word. Yeah. But I don't know if I'm using yeah, it right. Using Marka. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, look at the dice. A little dice. We just bought a bunch. of We dice. just bought a bunch of them. Maybe yeah, we can use right. those dice. Yeah. But these are cute too. They're cu cute colors. And What's not sure what this is. This looks like a stand. Are those dice all six sided? Yeah, they're all six sided. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And here are the recycling plant cards, and you got the aluminum factory cards. Mm -hmm. And these are the headquarters where I guess you put your little Very pieces here. Yeah, I'm interested to see how this works because obviously we're not going to go into the gameplay <laughs> in this episode. How many players on that one, Naomi? What? How many players on one that one? One to oh, five. One to five on this one, ages 14 and up, and it takes about an hour per game. But yeah, there you have it, guys. Fantastic factories, and welcome to your perfect home. Yes. Two board games that were brought to you by some really great people at Dreamwater. Thank you so Deep much, Dreamwater. Oh, Deepwater. It's okay. Not Dreamwater. I'm thinking Dreams, the game I just played. But uh, yeah, Dreamwater, uh, not Dreamwater, Deepwater. Thank you so <laughs> much for, uh, t for letting us uh, unbox this on our show today. And now we're going to cut to a little break. The marketing it's team time. is just screaming every time you say dream water. No, I'm sure they're fine. All right, right dream guys? water. I'll just have deep Emily water, edit water, something deep together. Water. <laughs> deep water, deep water, deep water. <laughs> deep water. <laughs> deep water games deep and distribution. Water. We'll never forget there it. We go. Perfect. <laughs> Hashtag ad. Hashtag ad. Um, all right, guys, let's uh, cut to a quick break, a recap of last week's episode with our guest, Tiffany Smith, who was on last week. Who was great. Who was great. <laughs> Fantastic. She was amazing. Um, and we will be right back with our guest, Michelle Morrow. We like Michelle. Woo!